Hey everyone, Nate from Detroit at Drum Pop Studios today. And so I have a keyboard split setup to show you. For those that don't know, I'll give you a quick tutorial of what keyboard splits are and the best way I can represent it on the screen. Uh, the easiest way to do a keyboard split with virtual instruments, in my opinion, is with main stage. So I'll show you there. And so here in main stage, we have, um, you can see here, I've got two different instruments. I'll pull up my channel so you can see. You see, so we've got um, a drum machine on the left, and we've got an alchemy synthesizer on the right, okay? And so then you can set what split point you want. Now, the advantage of this, if you don't know, is keyboardists use it quite often, um, and electronic musicians use it to divide up the keyboard into different areas that they can trigger different instruments Depending on how many keys they need, how many octaves they need, they can have a multi uh, multitude of instruments on just one keyboard. But commonly, it would be used with like two instruments, such as like bass. You'd have an actual bass sample, and then a piano sample or something on your right hand. Or sometimes you'd have strings on your right hand, and then piano on your left. So you'd be a pian playing uh, basic piano chords, and then on your right hand, you'd be able to play a violin lead or something. So it's used in lots of different applications, especially in electronic music and in writing and in jamming and, you know, especially live performance. So using that, especially for songwriting tools and stuff, you're able to um, instantly have a feel for the song and how it can start to layer and things with different instruments over the top of it. So you see like all the possibilities it can have. So that's what a keyboard split is basically if you don't know. Now, in um, main stage, if you don't know how to do it, this is a software um, for live performance and for using uh, software synth libraries and things and sample libraries. So uh, it's real simple. When you click on your keyboard, you've got these menu items down here. Um, attributes, channel strip library, attributes, layer editor, mini input. And so look, layer editor. And it's so easy. You can just drag it to where you want one instrument to be and you drag it to where you want the other instrument to be and if you want them to overlap you can do that and that's beneficial for having like you know piano and string section or synthesizer pad with a an attack over the top or a ep piano over the top so there's lots of different cool things you can do with that and so this is really simple now your instrument your keyboard might have this possibility check your manual because if you don't do software synth uh like this your keyboard um, might have it in the manual where you would just go into the settings within it and it might have a keyboard split setting where you can split you can set a split point and what instrument you want where um, I know a lot of my Korg instruments have that built into the hardware of it without having to use any software so this has been going on for quite some time and uh, in the 80s we had an Emacs from Emu Systems and it had like drum loops and things so you would hold you could actually just, you know, hold um, a drum loop and be able to like keep playing your pads and your chords or different things, and so it's awesome for either songwriting or even performance. And then of course you'd have drum fills and stuff. So I'll set some of those th things up for you soon. But yeah, so like this is like a keyboard set for your demo. For a demo, I have like these these chords here, right? And then we can like play beats over the top of it. Cool, huh? And so, yeah, so uh, I'll pull up this new sample library that I made. Let me just mute this here. And so I made this new uh, sample instrument, and I can't wait to share it with everybody. And so I'm about, about ready to, uh, to share it. And so it's um, it's got a keyboard on the right, like a pad, and then it's got a drum uh, drum samples on the left there we go and I set it up so that it's easy it's easy to play the beats with your left hand and do similar rhythms that you're used to doing such as like a bass run or something if you're a keyboardist and you do like a bass run in your left hand or something you'll see what I'm talking about for example this is a song that I wrote with it already 
or riff rather. So you see, it's pretty cool. Like, so you can bring in the drums here right over the top. And then I think I can have like this, then I have a ride and you can do this uh, cool chorus, like uh, maybe. So that is, um, that is a new sample library that I'm gonna come out with soon. Um, and release to you and it's got like I said some cool percussion over here at the left to work with and then the keyboard split and it's got these pad sounds so I just wanted to demonstrate that to you real quick and of course give a quick lesson and tutorial on how to use keyboard split and the powerful uh, how powerful it can be um, I hope it's been helpful for you if it has like and subscribe and share it to your friends see you again soon